Hi guys, it's your boy. <laughs> Jordan from Star vs. Trend, the other half of Star vs. Trend. Got some new sneakers, trainers, crabs, just pop through. I don't know where they are. Again, they're doing a the whole surprise, surprise sort of thing. Coming at you, coming at you, coming at you. Um, came through the door 13th of Feb 2021. So what are they? What are they? What are they? Are they Nikes? Are they added? Well, it's definitely Nike. Because it says on the box, right? <laughs> so I'm not even going to try that. But hey, let's see what they are. Ooh, ooh. Hey, I don't appreciate it, DPD, man. Look what he's done to the box, man. Look what he's done to the box. But anyway, lovely, lovely, lovely. Here we go. Some Air Jordan 6. Retro me up. Now, what are these? Are these going to be the Carmine? Carmine? What, are we, what, do you, what, do you, what do you call them, guys? What do you call them? What do you call them? Carmine? Carmine? Depends where you're from, right? All I know is they're supposed to be red. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, crimson red. Here we are. Here we are. These are these actually these are really heavy. Like I don't know, man. Just heavy. Anyway, anyway, we're, we're going. So yeah, these are pop through. Ooh, like a nice little. You know, you used to have them in school for your jackets. You used to be like, what is the point of these things? Now there's a point for these things, right? Just to keep your laces all intact. Look at that, keeping it all together, keeping it all together. Ah, oh, these are lovely. A little bit of rubbery, plasticky there, uh, rubber there. I don't know, it feels kind of rough, in all honesty. Um, don't know why that is, why it should be so stiff. Not the normal cushion, do you feel of it? Obviously, the back and the soles, again, really comfortable. But then looking here, these, these again are quite rough as well. I mean, Obviously, you can use it to pull your trainers on because they're hard to get in. But let me take the soles out. But anyway, anyway, let me, let me just stop being <laughs> this crazy and let me start talking about how lovely they are. How the crimson, crimson, a uh, carmine red is just amazing. I know, I like it. Obviously, they've gone really retro again. <clears throat> Bringing it back, as you know, Nike just all about rehashing the old again. Um, these were, you know, a play on, on, on the 90s trainers that they released, the Air Jordans. But they're absolutely lovely. Lovely little air bubble there, like... Air bubble, air bubble. Remember back in school, you used to have the air bubble, like, yeah, yeah, you're walking on air. Anyway. <laughs> those were the days, man, those were the days. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going on. So these, these are absolutely lovely. They really, they feel heavy. Um... Than, you, than you'd think. I guess that's what you get for basketball trainers, though, right? Obviously, he's got the, the man himself, Mr. Jordan, uh, namesake, greatest name in the world. <laughs> I joke, I joke. Um, kind of dirty already. Anyway, Nike falling short. Again, I, I won't nitpick this time. A lot of you have been talking about how I'm always nitpicking on the trainers and stuff. But look, I'm trying to be honest with you. I'm trying to give you a review, whether I'd wear them, whether I'd. Oh, well, whether I buy them, if I be in a queue for them, I don't know. Oh, I love the smell of new trainers, man. That's my that's my own little perversion. Forgive me, guys. I just love the smell of trainers. Just going on. Okay, so so back to the shoes. Obviously, it's got the red everywhere. Now, in the video, I don't sure how red you can see it, but it's more of a like a light burgundy, um, like a royal red. It's supposed to be a crimson red. I mean, I expected it to be like a bright red. You know, like the. A vibrant bright a bit like the jacket behind um but it's not it's uh it's you see it's almost got a hint of purple in it which is crazy but hey i don't know how i feel about these i don't know how i feel like the, the back of these here are like really shiny and i don't know why they have to be so shiny nike what's going on but they, they just feel shiny maybe once you you wear it and the rain's on it a few times it just might not be the same but look brand new out of the box really got some scratches on them it's that dpd man i'll tell you Absolute nightmare guy. Um, yeah, so these, these here they are. Here they are. These are the Nike Air 6 Jordan's Retro Crimson or Carmine, Carmine, whatever you want to call them. Cream on Carmine. I mean, what are you guys calling them, man? How are you pronouncing it? It depends on what part of the boat you're from, right? If you're on the States, you pronounce it Carmine. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like them. They're really cool. They look really good with a pair of. Yeah, you see, so these you couldn't wear skinnies with these, I don't think. It really depends on 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 
on your build, I guess. But I wouldn't wear these on a pair of skins. You probably want to wear these on a pair of straights. You know, just let it loose at the bottom. Don't, do not, do not fold up on these. It just looks lame. I see people do them, you know, they they, they turn up their, 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 their jeans on, when on everything else look okay, but you don't do that on trainer boots. You do not do that on highs. You just let it drop. You just let it drop and sit just above it if it can. Um, again, what you don't want to do, you don't want to get it so, you know, like the straight cuts and then just try and fold it over the top. <laughs> That's just, again, a no-no. Can't do that, guys. Listen, we're trying to give you fashion and style advice. We're trying to tell you to late the neighborhood run. But, yo, if you want to set a new trend with that, you go for it, man. You go for it. Post it on our website and let's see how you're getting on with them, right? Let, let people feedback. Uh, but, yeah, these, these are cool. These are nice. I really like them. The insoles are just, like, breathable. I don't know if you can really see them in the... In, in the yeah, there we are. See, see, it's got some air vents coming through there. So that's really good because they're quite high and they're quite padded. So you can imagine them getting quite sweaty, but with the vents inside, it's to obviously let the air out and give you cooler feet because nobody likes hot shoes, man. Nobody likes hot shoes. Um, yeah, the insides, okay, so inside soles, again, they're a little bit hard. They're a little bit hard. You know I've got fascination with the boost, but hey, that's just me. They're a little bit hard. Even the air bubbles don't feel that way. See, now, nah, I don't know, man. I, I feel... Nike just falling off a little bit and they're just really all about mass, mass. I mean, I guess they've always been about mass, right? Don't don't get me wrong. Everyone's all about mass. But with what they're doing with the, with the drops these days, you'd expect them to just put a bit more into it because they're not releasing like the thousands and thousands like they were doing. They're doing the one shoe and they're releasing it, you know, you know, a couple of hundred. Yeah, they're doing re-releases because I mean, this was re-released earlier on, uh, earlier on last year. Um, it's now being released again So, you know, they're re-releasing it But it just feels like the care Has gone out I mean, like like little things like this like, Look at this Look, it's like It should be in line, right? It should be like the white Should should cut it off And it shouldn't be A little bit like here See what they've done here? So here you see it It's straight on And then here you get A big chunk of red It's not supposed to be that way It's just laziness In my opinion It's just laziness Because look, you know it's true Because on the other side It's flush there's no like hanging over bits where there is here, a hanging over bit. Like, why do you need that to be hanging over, Nike? Come on, talk to me. Why are you doing that? Are you just being lazy or is it the shops in wherever you, where are these made? Most likely China. They don't even have the labels anymore. In them. Okay, wait, let me read up. Vietnam, see? So you've moved them to Vietnam. Well, they've probably always been in Vietnam. But I don't know, man. It just lacks the, the precision. It really does. It really does. Uh, but apart from that, they look cool on your feet. They look absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, they'll rock with they'll rock with just about anything. Take them anywhere. Do anything with them. Um, you know, rock these with a suit. You know, so you, can, you can rock these very nicely with a navy blue suit and just go pow. You know, with these bad boys at the bottom work. Yeah, they, they, they'll work really well. So here we are. Air Jordan 6. Retro, Carmine or Crimson if you just want to be, you know, get away from all that weirdness. There we are. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Is it worth it? Would you buy it? Would you go out for it? What are you going to do with it? Would you buy it? Or would you buy it and then flip it? I don't know. It seems that's what a lot of people are doing these days. We never know. We never know. Anyway, let me see what you think. Crimson.